this is the video for lesson 29 on my website, Introduction to Symmetry. Symmetry is a topic that comes up in math, and it also comes up quite a bit in everyday life, especially in topics of art and design. The general idea behind symmetry is that we can say a shape has symmetry if one half of the shape is the mirror image of the other. An easy example to think about is a butterfly. For the most part, the left half of a butterfly will be the mirror image of the right half. We've all seen that. So we can say that the butterfly has symmetry. We can look at the symmetry of various shapes, but very often we use capital letters just as a way of demonstrating the concept of symmetry. Let's take a look at these letters here. We can say that the capital letter A has vertical line symmetry, because if I draw a vertical line down the center, the left half of the shape is the mirror image of the right half. Or stated another way, if I fold the shape in half along the vertical line, the left half will fold directly on top of the right half. That's pretty easy to see. The letter B, we can say, has horizontal line symmetry. The top half is the mirror image of the bottom half. Now this letter K may not be drawn exactly perfectly, but the general gist is the top half is the mirror image of the bottom half. It has horizontal line symmetry. The letter M, it's pretty easy to see, has vertical line symmetry, and so does the letter U. Now take a look at these letters in the next row. The H and the X each have two lines of symmetry. I can draw a vertical line of symmetry, and it's easy to see that the left half is the mirror image of the right half, but I can also draw a horizontal line, and we can see that the top half is the mirror image of the bottom. And we can do the exact same thing with the X. It has vertical line symmetry and horizontal line symmetry. Now take a look at these letters in the next row. If you look carefully, you'll see that, there, that these letters all have no lines of symmetry. There's no way to draw a line in these letters such that one half will be the mirror image of the other. And very often that's the case. They simply have no lines of symmetry. Now the S and the Z are kind of tricky. They may look as though they have a line of symmetry, but if you look very carefully, you'll see that there's no way that we can draw a line such that one half is the exact mirror image of the other half. What they do have, though, is what's known as point symmetry. And the easiest way to, exp to explain point symmetry is like this. I'm going to draw a point in the center of this S, and now imagine that we rotate the S around 180 degrees. So we just rotate it upside down such that this point still stays in the center. If we do that, we'll see that we'll end up with another capital letter S. You can try it yourself on paper. Just draw a big capital S and rotate it upside down. It will still be an S. The same thing is true of the Z. So any shape or letter or figure that has that characteristic, we can say has point symmetry. It doesn't have line symmetry, but it has point symmetry. Just make sure that you understand these concepts. We'll come back to this more in later lessons.